Linzer. Spell your first name. J O A N N Linzer, L I N Z E R. Joan, tell me a little bit about this case. Um, this case involved a brutal murder by Daniel Longoria of a man named Ramundo Zarati Jr. Tell me, uh, I mean, he's got a heck of a history. I mean, he get life sentence today, jury didn't take. Tell me a little bit about the time of the jury. I mean, next to nothing. Uh, the jury was back in 25 minutes with the life sentence. And then deliberation for punishment? Uh, it took a little longer for, de for the punishment deliberation. Tell me a little bit about his history. He had two prior convictions. He had been to prison two times, one for attempted murder and once for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Can you tell me a little bit about those cases? Yes. One of the victims of the attempted murder testified he um, had been chased down by Daniel Longoria in a vehicle and he was run over by Daniel Longoria, actually pushed in, him into a uh, gas station, um, injuring him pretty badly. And that was the attempted murder case. And then what about the, uh, he had a young lady back in the early 90s, I think it was, that he stabbed? Um, that's actually a different case that's pending. Oh, it's another one still pending on that one? Uh, there's a pending case out of Fort Bend County. Oh, okay, okay. So he got a life sentence today? Yes. What about the other, you've got several others on there, what, there's three more? Up there, there are three co-defendants um, that we've got um, indicted for murder, and that's Adam Longoria, Jose de Jesus Martinez, and Angeline McInnes. And how soon before they can have any ideas yet? I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Um, we really appreciate that the jury gave a voice to Ramundo Zarate Jr., and we are very appreciative of every day of the life sentence that they gave him, that they gave Daniel Longoria. Mm -hmm. I'll get it. Yeah. First of all, name and tell me what you got. Lieutenant Bill Bucks, B-U-C-K-S, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, Major Crimes Unit. 
Yeah, what you got, Bill? At approximately 9.15 tonight, patrol units were dispatched to the 30,000 block of Meadow Edge Drive here in Magnolia. Uh, upon their arrival, they learned that there had been a gunshot victim that had been transported by personal vehicle to Tomball ER. So units secured this scene here on Meadow Edge and, and units responded to Tomball ER. Uh, upon their arrival at Tomball ER, they found a gunshot victim there at the ER that had passed away from his wounds. Uh, he was suffering from a gunshot wound to the head and one to the lower abdomen. Uh, detectives from Major Crimes Unit, Crime Scene Investigators, and Texas Rangers responded to the scene. We're currently working it. Uh, it appears that this occurred over an earlier dispute at a park in Harris County somewhere that came back to this location and the dispute continued at the end of the driveway. What happened once they got here? I mean, how did the whole thing go down once they got here? From what we're, witnesses are telling us is that there was a disturbance between uh, a male su sub subject that lives here at the house and a subject that came to the house to continue the argument. Uh, the suspect uh, retrieved a gun from his vehicle and, and shot the victim at least two times. And how old is the victim? The victim's 43 years old and he's been identified as Raimundo Zarate Jr. Z-A-R-A-T-E. And the first name for Raimundo, R-A-M-U-N-D-O. Okay, what about other family members with him or anything? There was numerous family members here on location when the shooting occurred, and they attempted to load him in one of their vehicles and try and drive him to the uh, hospital. Uh, that vehicle got stuck, so they removed him from that vehicle, put him in another one of their personal vehicles, and drove him to the ER. Right. And where are you at right now? Just hunting down a suspect? Any, any description of a suspect or any kind of, anything that you can get out there? The, the only thing we're being given right now is Hispanic male with possibly lots of tattoos on his arms. Uh, we have no name. Um, and uh, uh, we have a green four-door passenger car, possibly a Chevy Cavalier, but no license plate. How tall the guy? Or, you know, you know, We're still getting into that with with the witnesses.